Hi guys, this is Sri Khan Srinivas Rajnikanth. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my tutorial. Today I am going to show you Tosca certification questions and answers of TDS1. Okay. By following this video, definitely for hundred percent you will pass in the test. Okay. And don't skip any question. Every question will come in the test. Okay. Let's start the video and over to my friend. Question number one. Which of the following statements regarding the risk assessment of the task requirements section are true? And the answer is. Individual functions of the system under test are assessed regarding their risk. The risk assessment is used to determine the testing priority. Question number two. Which of the following statements for the object type requirement set are true? And the answer is. A requirement set is the base element for the hierarchical structuring of requirements. A requirement set cannot contain further requirement sets. Question number three. What is the recommended base structure of a test sheet? And the answer is. Administration, precondition, process, verification. Question number four. What are the most important criteria for the choice of a straight through? And the answer is. High risk, fewest dependencies. Question number 5. Which of the following are properties of test case design instances? And the answer is. Character, position, work state. Question number 6. Tosca Commander offers various combination methods. What advantages does the method of linear expansion offer compared to the orthogonal combination method? And the answer is. Having a test focus allows test results to be clearly assigned to a particular test objective. Question number 7. How are combinations generated with the method linear expansion? And the answer is. A straight-through combination is generated containing only straight-through instances. Each following combination differs in one instance. Question number 8. How will an unused instance appear in the test sheet? And the answer is. The instance is displayed in bold. Question number 9. The filter function is used in a test sheet. Which of the following statements are correct in this context? And the answer is. The name of the test sheet is marked turquoise while the filter is being used. The filter must be set at the level of the desired attribute. All filter conditions are to be found as a tooltip at the test sheet level. Question number 10. What methods of creating a class are available in Tosca? And the answer is. Drag and drop existing attributes onto a folder. Extract class in the context menu of a test sheet. Create a new class via the context menu of a test case design folder. Question number 11. When do you link your test sheet to the requirements section? And the answer is. When finishing your test case design. Question number 12. What are Tricentis recommendations regarding creation of test sheets? And the answer is. One test sheet should cover one business requirement. Question number 13. When you add a new attribute to an already combined test sheet, which of the following is true? And the answer is. You should combine the new attribute into the existing combinations from the lowest level up to the test sheet level. You will have to link the new instances to the requirements section manually. I and automatic combinations, you should use complete instances. Question number 14. What is the recommend structure of a test sheet when reflecting an agile methodology? And the answer is. Given when then. Question number 15. Which of the following are not best practices recommended by Tricentis? And the answer is. Only use one level of attributes, so that you don't have too much detail in the test sheet. Question number 16. Which option pastes an attribute structure copied from Microsoft Excel into TCD? And the answer is. Create element structure from clipboard. Question number 17. What of the following is true concerning automatic instance generation? And the answer is. Automatic combination is much faster than manual combination. Guys, now we will see final exam questions and answers. Let's jump into the video. 
Welcome to Test Design Specialist Level 1 Final Exam Answers. Question 1. When do you link your test sheet to the requirements section? After creation of the requirements structure. During lunch break. After test execution. Correct answer. When finishing your test case design. Question 2. According to best practices, which test cases should be included in one test sheet? Only one test case per test sheet. All test cases of a project. Test cases with the same level of complexity. Correct answer. Test cases of one thematic block or self-contained process. Question 3. What is the default base value for the damage and frequency class in Tosca? 1. 5. 3. Correct answer. 2. Question 4. What is the primary objective of test case design? To achieve maximum bug-free test coverage with the lowest possible amount of test cases. The methodical identification of all invalid equivalence classes. The methodical identification of all valid equivalence classes. Correct answer. To achieve maximum test coverage with the lowest possible amount of test cases. Question 5. What are the most important criteria for the choice of a straight-through? Easy to wait. Low risk. Correct answer, high risk. Correct answer, fewest dependencies. Question 6. Which of the following statements apply to the object type attribute in Tosca test case design? An attribute can have the property boundary. Correct answer, an attribute can contain instances. Correct answer, an attribute can contain attributes. Correct answer, an attribute can be either physical or logical. Question 7. Which of the following statements apply to the object type attribute in Tosca test case design? An attribute has the property adder type with the values valid and invalid. An attribute has the property character with the value straight through. Correct answer. An attribute has the property adder type with the values logical and physical. Correct answer. An attribute has the property business relevant with the options yes, no, or result. Question 8. What is the recommended base structure of a test sheet? Post-conditioned process verifications. Preconditioned process verification post-condition. Preconditioned process execution verification. Correct answer. Administration preconditioned process verification. Question 9. What is the suggested sequence to start when creating your test case design? 1. Create the test sheet 2. Define character and position for each instance 3. Determine the attributes and instances. 1. Create test sheet 2. Combine the necessary data 3. Filter the necessary instances. 1. Create the test case 2. Determine the attributes and instances 3. Define character and position for each instance. Correct answer. 1. Create the test sheet 2. Determine the attributes and instances 3. Define character and position for each instance. Question 10. The property business relevant of an attribute has been set to result. Which of the following statements applies to this attribute when using automatic combination? The attribute will not be incorporated into the combinatorics on the instance level. The attribute will be incorporated into the combinatorics on the test sheet level, but no additional instance will be created using the principle of highest cardinality. The attribute will be incorporated into the combinatorics on the attribute level, but no additional instance will be created using the principle of highest cardinality. Correct answer. The attribute will not be incorporated into the combinatorics on the test sheet level. Question 11. What is the recommend structure of a test sheet when reflecting an Agile methodology? If then else. Given then else. Given then another. Correct answer. Given when then. Question 12. Which of the following are properties of test case design instances? Format. Correct answer. Character. Position. Work state. Question 13. Which risk calculation is used to determine a requirements weight in Tosca? Weight equals base value, caret frequency, slash base value, caret damage. Weight equals frequency, plus damage. Weight equals frequency, damage. Correct answer. Weight equals, base value, caret frequency, 
x, base value, caret damage. Question 14, which of the following operations in the test case design section are possible? Resolve instances, correct answer, rename class references and classes differently. Correct answer, resolve class references. Correct answer, merge classes. Question 15, which option pastes an attribute structure copied from Microsoft Excel into TCD? Create element list from clipboard. Simple paste. Paste special, structure only. Correct answer, create element structure from clipboard. Question 16, what of the following is true concerning automatic instance generation? Complete instances creates all new combinations regardless of existing instances. You cannot combine on lower attribute levels with automatic generation. Tosca knows which instances are not viable from a business perspective and avoids those combinations. Correct answer, automatic combination is much faster than manual combination. See that's all guys, that's all about this video. I hope you passed the test and liked the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.